It's time for Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. Featuring Chicago Lamp's brightest jazz star. And now, your host, Barry Winograd. Hello, and welcome to Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. I'm your host, Barry Winograd. This is a show where, over the past 12 months, we've had the honor and privilege to present some of Chicago's finest jazz talent. And to finish off this first year of celebration, Uncle Izzy, who certainly enjoys celebrating on St. Patrick's Day, suggested that fine band of young lions, the Ryan Cohn Group, for Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree.
This is Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. I'm your host, Barry Winograd. We're enjoying the music of the Ryan Cohn Group. We just heard the song Untitled. And next up, Here and Now on Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. <laughs> Thank you. 
watching Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. I'm your host, Barry Winograd, and our guests today, the Ryan Cohn Group, have brought us two original compositions so far, untitled and here and now. They'll be back in a moment, and so will we. So stay tuned right here at Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree, Cable's newest home for music, conversation, and more. Join me, Barry Winograd, for a half hour of entertaining, educating, and exciting sounds of jazz for many of Chicagoland's finest practitioners. We'll listen, talk, and view with you an invigorating array of jazz cats of all generations. It's Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree on your local public access channel. Welcome back to Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. I'm your host, Barry Winograd, and today we're being blessed by the great sounds of Ryan Cohen and his group. Ryan, welcome to Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree. Oh, thank you. It's my pleasure to be here, Barry. Well, it's glad to have you here and part of the celebration of March and spring and St. Patty's Day and all the great stuff and a celebration of some wonderful music, too. Mm -hmm. uh, the songs we're hearing today, we've just heard Untitled and mm -hmm. Here and Now. Uh, they're all originals, aren't they? Yes, they are. Yeah. And uh, let me ask you, uh, does your group only do originals or... Do you have a, a, an urge to take some standards and uh, rearrange them for your own personal sound at times? Well, I, I definitely um, uh, I'm focusing now on my own writing and using the band as a vehicle to get this music out there. Mm -hmm. um, I work with different groups in the city um, where I play standards and um, not so standard jazz repertoire. So when, I, when it comes and I get the opportunity to play with my group, I try to focus on my own writing and try to push that and focus on one voice and, and a certain aspect of my playing for right now. When, when you're writing a song, uh, do you have a particular sound in mind and that sound therefore was transferred to become a, well, in today, a saxophone, uh, bass, drum, keyboard sound? Is that the particular sound you think when you write these tunes and then let's say you write something else and the Ryan Cohn group becomes trumpet tenor and... Uh, something else. Do you, do you think in terms of what instruments are actually going to be playing the songs or do you just think in terms of the keyboard? Right now I'm, I'm trying to focus with the set group, um, set instrumentation. Mm -hmm. So with this group that we're playing with, I'm using uh, Jeff Bradfield's great reed player and so I'm trying to just focus on the sounds from a compositional perspective. Mm -hmm. Get the tunes the way I want, get the melodies the way I want and, and then use um, a reed player, use Jeff, use saxophone or soprano sax. Um, and we're playing live in a quartet setting. That's that's what I'm going for. Um, and not thinking right at this point about the arrangement, whether I want to have uh, this part of the tune be played by trumpet in this tessitura or uh, by um, bass clarinet. I'm not thinking about that at this point. I'm trying to just get the compositions at a point um, so I can go out and play them. That's, that's where I'm focused on with this group. Well, it's a very well-rehearsed and well-sounding group. Thank you. And uh, we should tell everyone, you grew up here in the area, in yes. Skokie, and uh, I assume you started out as a classical pianist. No, I didn't. You actually. didn't? No. Wow, you're uh, impressing me. Uh, how, how did you get into piano and uh, jazz in particular? Well, actually, when uh, my mother was a, was a piano player mm -hmm. and an accomplished piano player. And so in the classical world? She was when she was young, but mm -hmm. she didn't want to pursue it professionally. But there was always, when I was growing up, there was a piano in the house. Mm -hmm. And um, there was little books, like, and my mother taught music. So there were teaching books uh, available, you know, on the piano. I would sit down and mess around at the piano. But my first instrument was actually violin, which I played for a few years when I started when I was nine. And I was more interested in sports at the time. And then after that, I, um, I, I liked, you know, like pop music and rock music. And synthesizers were starting to become popular. So I got into that. And then my love for piano grew. Mm -hmm. And the more I wanted to, to play like the synthesizers, I realized I had to keep going back in time. And um, I started playing some modern jazz stuff. And then eventually I wanted to get my piano playing stronger. When I was hearing guys like Chick Corea and Keith Jarrett and Herbie Hancock, I realized that I need to be very serious. So yeah. uh, it wasn't until I was in high school that I started you know, practicing six hours a day on yeah. the piano and studying yeah. classical music. Okay, well, we're going to go back to the music now, and some wonderful music it is. It's yourself, Lauren Cohn, your cousin. Yes, my cousin. Uh, Jeff Bradfield, the saxophonist, and Tom Hipskin, Tom Hipskin sitting at the drum set. And we're going to hear Urgent Intensity. Ur Urgent Identity. Identity, Urgent Identity. All right, Ryan Cohn, his group, thank you for being here. My pleasure. Urgent Identity on Uncle Izzy's Jazz Jamboree.
You've been watching Uncle Lizzie's Jazz Jamboree. I'm your host, Barry Winograd, and we want to thank Ryan Cohn and his group, Ryan Cohn, Lauren Cohn, Jeff Bradfield, and Tom Hipskin for joining us today. They brought us three original compositions, Untitled, Here and Now, and Urgent Identity. So until next time, support live jazz, and we'll see you right here on Uncle Lizzie's Jazz Jamboree. Thank you.